Ludmilla, why are you up so early? It's a day off today. I wanted to take the kids to the movies. Is Tamara still being defensive with you? Uh, she doesn't want to give me the kids. She says she won't until I have somewhere to live. And they're delaying paychecks, so I don't have the money to rent anything. Don't worry. It will be okay. It will. Well, how is Roman? Is he going to visit? He's not. But that isn't my fault. Roman, when he decided to get married, brought his girl here to introduce her to me. But I really didn't like her. And it was clear at first sight that he didn't love her. He got married because he was mad at you. He had been in love with you for his whole life. When you chose Victor, he decided to leave. I told him it's no good getting married without any love. Yet, he insisted. Well, and we quarreled. Since then, he hasn't come here again. <sighs> he sometimes calls, though. Riza, please. I hope you forgive me. I... I just didn't love him. Sit down. We can talk. We're not allowed to talk with the clients. That's the money for two months, for our son, and for you. You know, you could have given me more. We're not strangers, and he's your son. So when do you think I can see Anton? So now you want to? You haven't visited him for two months. He's not here. He's with his grandma. What about the school? He studies at the same school. But he's my son. I don't want him to study just anywhere, all right? I don't care what you want. It's too late for all of that. Don't forget we're divorced. And I'm getting married. When will you give me permission to adopt Anton finally? I never will. That flat is yours, so be happy. But my son will remain my son, all right? Mom, how about we race to the playground now? Well, okay. I'll tell you when to start. Okay, here we go, all right? Get ready. Are you ready? Go! Larissa, try to catch up with him. Hooray! Run! Keep I'm running! First. I'm the yeah, champion. that was fun. Yeah, I'm an Olympic champion. You're both champions, darlings. I can't catch up with you. Granny doesn't let us run ever. That's because she's quite old. She's afraid she won't be able to catch you and you'll run away. Ludmilla. Oh, uh, hello, Aunt Hello, Aunt Sveta. Hello. We need to talk. You two run to the swings for a bit. Ludmilla, I'm sorry. I didn't know Vasily hadn't given you a dorm. I didn't think I was kicking you out into the street. I'm sorry. And I couldn't understand why you were hiding from me at work. <laughs> Drop it. I don't hold any grudges. You put your family first. How are the kids doing? They're at my mother-in-law's. It's not easy for them, but I'll solve it somehow. What's going on with the baby? I don't know. Sergei insists on an abortion. And you? I can't make up my mind. I want a baby. But then he'll leave me. I can't cope without a husband. I mean, that's impossible. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. That was so thoughtless of me to say. <sighs> no, it wasn't. It's hard with that one. And yet, I still have my kids.
Jenna, have you fixed the hitches like you did the last time? I know what I'm doing here. Yeah, it's all fixed. Mm. Ah, oh, Jenna, you're a real hero. Yeah, sure. Not like some other people here. They don't like to work. You better watch yourself. What? I didn't say anything. Now work. The break was too long. Luda, Luda, they've just called you from the dispatch gate. Your son is asking for you. Galia! Yeah? Substitute me for a minute. Oh, she's a real champion of being such an absent worker. Dennis, dear. What happened to you? Why aren't you at school? I... I'm having a longer lunch break. Mm -hmm. I really miss you so much. Oh, honey, me too. I also miss you so much. I think of you every minute. I always wonder when I'll see you again. Mom, listen. Granny often shouts at the both of us. Take me with you. Oh, please. To the place you live. I won't misbehave. I'll hide in a closet. And I will just sit there quietly. What about Larissa? Will she stay at Granny's all alone, hmm? Dear, wait a bit. Granny loves you so much. It's only that she's like a boss and is used to and misses commanding people around. She's an ex-boss, so she's retired. Well, Dennis, apparently once a boss, always a boss. Dennis, Dennis. Wait here for just a minute and I'll go with you. Hello, Riza. Hi there. I'd like to buy a jacket so that it covers my lower back, huh? Good afternoon. I'll find something for you. What kind of jacket would you like? A cheaper one? Why would you assume a cheaper one? I'm not a beggar. <sighs> oh, I know you're not. Well, I'd like to know what you are hinting at. I'm not hinting at anything. Go on and choose something. Oh. How much? Oh, it's 800. Mm-hmm. A bit expensive. Riza, can you make it 700? 750 is the lowest I'll go for it. Okay. Why are you at the counter? You're the boss, aren't you? Doesn't Ludmilla pay you? I don't take any money from her. And um, she's just staying with me at my house. And it's none of your business. I get it. Does Roman know she's staying with you? But why do you ask? He has a family of his own. Oh, right, sir. Goodness, I didn't know that. Huh? That's great. Have you seen this family of his? Old love never grows old or forgets. Oh, he won't forgive you if you don't tell him. Enough from you. He doesn't come here that often anyway. Stop saying every single thing that pops into your mind. Why are you so excited? Take your jacket and get out of here already. Oh, 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 where well, shopping's a pleasure. Roman, dear. Hello there. Oh, it's been so long. I'm just so worried about you. <laughs> well, go on and tell me how you're doing with everything, dear. How am I? I'm doing okay. I'm not alone anymore. Ludmilla lives with me. What, Ludmilla? Well, your former classmate, of course. Ex Mayorova, now Kolacheva. Hmm. Everything's fine. Well, there you are. Ludmilla, do you want to be written up? Isn't a verbal warning enough? Be careful, or you're going to whimper that you were deprived of your bonus. My son ran away from school and I had to take him back. You're always finding excuses. I'm not going to cover up for you. You don't help her. Goodness, do as you please. I don't care.
My goodness, who is it? Is the door open or what? Hello in there. Be ready to receive guests. Hello, <gasps> Mother, it's me. Oh, Roman, my dear son, you've come home. Oh, you're not alone. Hi, Roman. Hello. I didn't expect uh, to see you here, though. I'm staying at your mother's house for a while. Roman, we have lots of news. We want to fill you in. Well, I'd better go or I'll be late for work. See you later, Ludmilla. Roman, my Roman! <laughs> I smell my childhood. Like home. Oh. Remember how we made these markings? I do. You were the smallest one in the class. You sure were. <laughs> You suffered. Well, okay. Oh, I'm so glad to see you, my son. No, it... no, no, don't say a word. <sighs> Mommy, what should I say, huh? What? Is there something you want to tell hey, me? Mom, look, all right? Natasha and I got divorced six months ago. I'm sorry, I didn't want to upset you. She took Anton to her mother to some village. She's gonna get married, apparently. And now she wants permission to adopt him. But my son, did you say no? Of course I did, Mom. She squeezed me dry, and now she wants to take away my son. But I'm not gonna let her. Are you upset? Well, yeah, a little. Tell me how it happened that Ludmilla is staying with you right now. Her house burnt down, and Victor died. Yes, it was more than a month ago. And you invited her here. Well, sure. She had nowhere to go, so she's here, and the kids are at her mother-in-law's house. Uh-huh. Mom, tell me. Have I changed a lot? <laughs> well, sure, you've become a grown-up. Not a boy who was waiting for <laughs> Ludmilla at the school gate like before. Do you think so? Haven't you gotten over it yet? Well, maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. <sighs> Hello. Oh. Galia. A woman mustn't carry anything more than a bunch of flowers. Uh-huh. Oh, he's a true angel. He always does this by asking me to forgive him, does everything for me, and gives me presents. Then he goes crazy again. Galia! See you tomorrow, See you. Girls. Okay, bye. Lud, you'd better hurry up, huh? Roman's waiting for you. He's been waiting for you for so many years. Look, the whole village already knows. An old admirer has What are you up. saying? That's the past. Maybe for you. Roman may still be hoping. Why has he come here? He's been away for ages. Well, to see his mother, of course. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. That could be true. <laughs> oh, Anton has grown so tall. Where was this taken? Oh. We went to the sea. Oh. Ludmilla, hello. Good evening. We were waiting for you. Let's all sit down now. Ludmilla, you haven't changed at all. You look the same. Roman, drop it. We have all changed. I heard about your misfortune. I didn't know. Please accept my condolences. Well, thank you. Well, let's sit down now, or it'll get cold. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. Mom, remember how you used to uh, make marrow paste for winter? I made it this year as well. Would you like some? I'd love some. I'll get it from the closet. <laughs> Mm. 
Ludmilla, you're just so beautiful. I can't take my eyes off of you. Goodness, what are you talking about? I have two kids and a dead husband. I'm at the mercy of someone else. I have no home. Where are your kids now? With my mother-in-law. Well, you could bring them here. I'll just talk to my mother. We can live here together. Like a real family. Really, I... I promise. Roman, exactly what are you after? I can't live without you. I got married to forget you, but I just couldn't. When I was sleeping with my wife, I imagined that I was sleeping with you every time. Do you understand what I mean by that? This is our fate. Roman, you stop this. My husband has just died. Don't you go. Look, I'm sorry. I, I didn't put it correctly. Think about yourself. Victor is gone. Who can you rely on? The kids not only need a mother, but a father as well. And I'm ready. Here it is, as fresh as ever since I made it just this past winter. I don't want it now. I'm taking a walk. What are you talking about? What about the dinner I just made? I said I'm going out, Mother. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine, Mom. I'm fine. I've loved her my whole life. Don't you understand me? I know that. I know, Roman. So she'll be mine, and I mean that. I decided it. Now open up, Ludmilla. Open oh, oh up. Oh, my God. Ludmilla! Roman, if you've waited for so long, you might as well wait until morning where you oh, can help talk me, to God. her then, dear. I've already tried in the light of the day. Maybe drunken men have better chances with her. Open up, my Roman, son, my Ludmilla! Roman, my son, don't. Don't, son. I will don't survive this. Open up, my son! Quiet! Quiet, I said. Open the door! Lord Miller! Open up! Roman! Roman! Open! Don't my son. Don't, I beg Open. you, my son. Please! Quiet! Quiet! Are you awake? Mom? What? Where's Ludmilla? Well, I don't know. Have you honestly ganged up on me? Did you really convince her to leave here, Mom? What are you saying, Roman? I was in my room this whole time. It was way too foolish of me to have done what you said. I shouldn't have listened to you, Mother, do you hear? So what? She would have been mine by now, Mom. Forcing a woman to be with you will not make her love you. Ah. Hello there. I'm sorry, am I late? No, you're not. I am in the habit of coming early. Ah, uh, I called you because I was... I understand. Yet, according to the contract, I don't owe you money. But my house just burned down. I really need the money. But I can't help you with that. Of course, I understand your hard situation. Well, okay. I'll try to give you the money back as soon as there is a new buyer. Mm. We have a deal? Well, thank you.
Why did you get a poor for behavior? Huh? Go on, tell me. I'll send your grandfather to the school and they'll tell him and then he'll come tell me. I got in a fight. What? Did we teach you to fight in this house? Where did you learn that behavior? You learned it from your mother. <gasps> oh. oh, no, what have you done? Oh, my good vase. They gave it to me at the teacher's congress, you brat. Come here, Valeri. Valeri, come here. This awful little girl just broke my Chinese vase. Well, it's nothing, nothing. Tamara, stop shouting at her. We'll glue it together somehow. How are you going to do that? You won't manage to do that. Throw it away. My goodness, what have you done here? Tamara! Tamara! Dennis, tell her what happened. I didn't mean to. I'm not going to tell her anything. We need to get out. What do you mean by that? We need to beat it. Run away. You got it? I got it. Your name? Mishutana. Year of birth? Born in 1982. Have you got kids? No. Is this your first abortion? You're not that young. You're sure you want to have an abortion? What can I do, though? He doesn't want it. Why have you come so late? <laughs> you can have an abortion, of course. But listen to me well. This pregnancy may be the last one. Listen, you're looking unusual, huh? As if you were going to get married. Huh? What brand alone, is this? Man. Look at those. <gasps> wow, maybe not married, but proposing, right? Huh? <laughs> to Ludmilla, right? You think she'll say yes? No, no, no. You have to do it in a different way, as if she was in a fortress. Siege equipment from the backside. You know, have you seen her backside, huh? <laughs> Enough, huh? <laughs> what for? Um, hey, hey, come on. Galia. Bye now. Backside, baby. Backside. <laughs> Ludmilla, hello. I'm sorry for my behavior yesterday. <sighs> it's just that when I saw you, I, I went crazy as all. Roman, please just drop it. I'm ready to do anything for you. I don't need anything from you. <laughs> Women are such strange creatures. Well, if you don't want them... Hey, miss. Dennis, let's go back now. Granny will be angry and she'll put us in the closet. I'm not afraid. But I'm afraid. You know I'm afraid of the dark. You're afraid? Then I can take you back and run away without you. Aren't you afraid of staying there alone? But I'm tired, and my legs are starting to ache. Just wait a minute. Wife. Huh? Where are the kids? What do you mean? In their room, of course. They're not here, as you can see. <laughs> Stop panicking, would you? They're just playing. What are you talking about? I'll see if their coats are here. Larissa? Dennis? Children, where are you? You'll answer! Dennis! Larissa? Oh, my dear God. Where are you? Their coats are not hanging up here. Well, where on earth could they be? Anywhere far from you. 
They got sick of your constant nagging and ran away from you. Enough of this drama. Drop it right there, because the only thing we need to do is find those kids. I'll call Ludmilla. Maybe they're both with her. Well, hello there, Tamara. How are you? Are the kids with you? No. Why? What happened? Those creeps have run away. What do you mean, though? To where? I don't know. My husband has gone to search for them. My dear, I've been looking for you. Here you are. Are you cold? Your noses are truly cold. Get up. Don't be sitting on the ground. Get up now. My God, how you scared me so. Mom, we didn't feel good at Granny's. She's always shouting at us. That's why we ran away looking for you. True hooligans. How could you act like that? We were so frightened. We wanted to be with Mom. Listen, my dear, I have good news. Today will be your last night at Grandmother's house. As of tomorrow, we will live together from now on. Do you hear me? Okay, we need to go. It'll get dark very soon, and Dennis has some homework. <sighs> All right, go. Go, Larissa, you have to. Mom, don't forget us. We'll do your homework together tonight. Deal? Deal. What do you need? I'm busy. I agree. You agree to what? I agree to go to bed with you. Yet yeah, I need a room in the dorm today, do you hear me? Oh, you finally come to me. I always knew you'd come. You were haughty last time. I treated you with all my heart. And you offended me when... you shouldn't have. I'm always ready to help you. <coughs> Not for nothing, though. I'll reward you. I'll give you a pay raise and a promotion as well. Oh, what the hell? What is she doing?
Why are you here in the dark? Hey, Sveta. I don't feel well. You saw the doctor? Did you do it? Yes. Well, you see? Nothing terrible. Okay, stay here. And I'll... warm up my dinner, myself. Mila, it's you. Oh, yes, hello there, Fyodor. Hello there. What are you doing here? Oh, it's a long story. Well, I'm not in a hurry. As far as I can see, neither are you, dear. So let's have some tea. It's nice and hot. And then you'll tell me everything. Thank you for your compassion. What are you doing here? I was in town for a visit. But now it's over. Got back here on the first train. And decided to have some rest. So tell me, what happened? Well, after the fire, I was staying with Riza. Yes? They won't give me a room mm. in the dorm. I don't have my children. And yesterday, they ran away. I promised to take them with me. I lied to them. But why did you lie? Didn't Riza let you in? It's not that. I can't return or go anywhere else. I have nowhere to go with them, understand? Ah. Ugh. Listen, Ludmilla. Take your kids and come with me. You can move to my place. Fyodor, I can't. No, I can't. That's far too awkward. But why is it awkward? I live alone. 
Vladimir. My son lives somewhere in the north. He doesn't visit me. Uh, and I guess I won't live long enough to see him. I don't live in luxury. The toilet is outside. Yet there's a lot of space for you. You all can live together. Well, and maybe you could look after me as well. My dear Fyodor, thank you. You saved my life. I'll go pick up the kids and come to you. Get them at once. <gasps> oh, thanks so much. <sighs> mm. I'm really old. It's time okay. for me to retire. Good brackets. I wish well I done. Had yes. Son to play with. Well, now who could that be? I solved it. Well, let me check it. Mm -hmm. Hey, hold on. What are these figures that you wrote here? I can't see if it's one or four. Hello, my dears. Mom, Mom yeah, we're here. My dear, go and pack your things because now the three of us can live together. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You move from one place to another. Nobody knows where and with whom you'll be tomorrow. I'll file a complaint. Do you know what people are saying about you? I'll have you deprived of maternal rights. Well, say something, Valeri. Tamara, please stop this. You know that they'll be better off with their mother. Have you lost your mind? Where is she going to take them? To Roman? He has his own family. I don't live there anymore. We're all going to happily live at Fyodor's. Come visit as soon as we get moved in. Oh, the teacher. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Tamara, that's really good. Lud, don't forget about us. Come to visit as often as possible, uh, all right? Mm. Of course I will. Tamara, thanks so much. Thank you so much for watching my kids as well as for caring for them so much. What am I supposed to do now? How will I live without them? Dear. You told me yourself that it was too hard for you to look after them. Hmm? But I didn't really mean it. the house. A woman in the house does wonders. It smells great in here. Mommy and I made some lunch for you. Really? Okay, wash your hands and sit down to eat. I'm the first! I'm the first! I'm the first! Oh, wow, I'm the look first! At that. <laughs> How was it? We did everything like you said. Mm -hmm. We had some rest on the way there and on the way back. I saw to it. And don't worry, he took his pill. That's a good boy, honey. Go wash up. Fyodor, my dear. Yes? It's time to take your pills. Uh, thank you, honey. Uh, I will say something. Oh. Is that your grandson? My son, Vladimir. Uh. He hasn't come here in a long time. You know, sometimes I think I might not live to see him. Give this briefcase to him if I don't see him. My diary and letters. 
I have been writing to him lately, just things I've had on my heart. But yet, I've sent nothing to him. What does he need? Lamentations of an old man for when he was young and healthy. And he has his own problems. But yet now, I want him to read it. I do. Oh, stop it, Fyodor, please. You'll give it to him yourself. <laughs> I said it was, for just in case. <laughs> do you promise? Okay, then. I promise you. Listen, Sveta, I'll be home for lunch. Ivan just had a hog brought to the cafe, and he promised some fresh liver to me. Isn't that great? Some meat and maybe some other treats? Sveta, what's wrong? What's wrong? What is it? <coughs> oh, don't worry. I'm, I'm sure it's nothing. Ugh. Anything you want to tell me? Sveta, if you decided to keep this child, I promise I will never forgive you. Don't you dare threaten me. And stop shouting. I kicked out my best friend out of jealousy so you wouldn't leave me. I'm always waiting for something. What am I waiting for? I sit still. I'm afraid to open my mouth, and I do everything to keep you. I'm not afraid anymore. But I will. Take my word, I will leave you. I will file for divorce first, and I'm going to have this baby. Go on, go. You can leave. Ludmilla, Lud, I really need your advice. What is it? Oh, come here. Sveta, what happened? Are you sick? I really feel tired lately. I'm tired from the sickness. Wait, what sickness? Wait, that means that you are still... Yes, yes, I lied to Sergei. I'm having the baby. Oh, goodness me. <sighs> That's great morning sickness. It's nothing at all. It will end shush, soon shush. for you. Don't worry. You must have a good stock of pickled cucumbers. That's the only <laughs> thing that helped me out. <laughs> what did Sergei say? I kicked him out. In fact, he left himself. Don't worry, he's sure to return to you. I know he'll be back. Yeah. Yes, and when he sees the baby, he'll be so touched that he'll carry him all the time, too. I have to say that I hope you're <laughs> right. Oh. Uh-huh. Sharing secrets again? Oh, tell me. Our Sveta is pregnant. <gasps> oh. oh, wow. That's great. Unexpected. Well, thank you, girls. My dearest friends. <laughs> Well, Dennis, tell me, what is your home assignment? Like your math? Tonight, it's addition of double figures. What figures are those? Double, you said? What is that, though? Are you really not aware? Well, how can I know that? If a figure is written by two digits, it's double. And if by one, it's single. Uh -huh. So are you following me so far? And, and if it's by three? Three figure numbers. Correct. <laughs> and if it's... I have an idea. Fyodor, let's play checkers. <laughs> Yesterday you won, and I know how I can probably win today. That's a good idea, Dennis. Bring the checkers and we'll see who wins. Hold on, Dennis. Please call your mom quickly. I'm not feeling very well. Oh. Number 10, borrowed in Skaya Street. I called you half an hour ago and the car hasn't come. Please hurry, he has a heart condition. I need you to hurry. Mother, 
Theodore is not doing well. I'm talking to him, but he's still not answering me. Theodore, you kind man. How are we going to live without you? No. Dennis, give me the pair of jeans. Mm-hmm. Mother, why do people have to die? Oh, well, that's very complicated, honey. Dad died first, and now it was Fyodor. It's bad without them. It's really bad, Dennis. Mother, when Uncle Vladimir comes, will he kick us out of this house? I don't know. It's his house, after all. Maybe he'll want to live here, hmm? Mommy, but we won't disturb Uncle Vladimir. We'll be really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, dear. Get that bag packed. We'll be prepared for anything. Hello, good afternoon. Hello, Ludmilla. Please come in, officers. Ludmilla, meet Oleg. He's a notary public. Nice to meet you. Are you going to leave? Well, we're getting packed in case. Tomorrow, Fyodor's son is coming, and we'll have to vacate the house. That's actually why we've come to see you. Yes, I understand. So when do we have to leave? You don't need to leave here. Before his death, Theodore made a will. It says that the rights to the house were transferred to you. No, but hold on, I knew nothing about it. That doesn't matter at all. The main thing is, is that under the law, the house is now yours. So, as they say, come into possession, it's now yours. Well, that can't be good. Does that mean that Theodore left nothing to his son, then? Apparently, he thought you needed the house more. Well, you can give half of the house to Vladimir if you find it in your heart. No, I don't think so. Absolutely not. It's his house, and he grew up here. Ludmilla, why discuss it now? Vladimir will come soon. Hmm? Have you been? Huh? I was talking to the girls. Oh, you were talking with the girls, huh? Do you know what time it is now, huh? Huh? We talked, and I didn't know what time it was. And you were just talking. You're distracting me with smooth talk and covering up with the girls, huh? Aren't you ashamed here? Oh, stop it. Where are you gonna go, huh? I haven't even started. Let me go. I'm tired and I want to sleep. Oh, you're tired. Why are you tired? You drink too much tea? Huh? Uh huh? Where were you? Now you tell me! Oh! Oh, that bitch! I'm gonna kill you! Uh, uh, Galia! Galia, open the door! Damn it, open the door, Galia! Galia! Uh, uh, Galia! Galia, stop teasing me! I will smash this! Galia! Uh. Oh, bitch, look, I know you wanted it. Oh, 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 oh that bitch. Oh, well, that's all right. 
I will bury you as soon as I find you. <sighs> In the end, I just ran away. Nikolai has gone mad and got jealous for no reason at all. You were right to run away. How long could you really stand it? I'm not going to stand it anymore. <sighs> Galia. Galia, my love, forgive me. I am sorry. I am a fool and I, I, I can't live without you. Well, what shall I do? Get on my knees here or what? Don't do that. That is not going to change anything. <laughs> Galia. Galia, please forgive me. I swear I won't beat you or yell at you anymore. I promise I won't. I don't care. I'm filing for divorce. What? Galia, but what divorce here? Well, what are you talking about? Um, we argued. It's no big deal. It, it happens. Don't you get it? It's over, and that was the end. Did you think this through? I did. If you beat me up again, I'll file an application. Let's go now. And you, Ludmilla! You little bitch! You drove your man to the grave and... And now you want to destroy me! You should only blame yourself! What? What did you just say, you... Ugh. I will not forget this! You're a bitch! What are you doing here? This is not your house. I will call the police. Rise of goodness. Don't you recognize me? I'm Vladimir, Fyodor's son. Vladimir? You? Goodness me! You've become a grown-up. <laughs> I didn't recognize you. Time flies, Ryza. <laughs> So you weren't present at your father's funeral, son? I found out too late. There's nobody at home now. Ludmilla will come home from work this evening. Let's go to my place. I'll give you some tea and you can wait. Let's go. Come on. Yes, thank you. Come in, please, Vladimir. Roman. Mom. <sighs> Come in, Vladimir. Who are you? This is Vladimir, Fyodor's son. Ah. Sit, sit down here and I'll make some tea for us. You want me? <sighs> no, but thank you. I remember you, brother. So then, you've come back. Roman enough. Mom! Okay. <laughs> Man, nobody understands me. Maybe I can't live without her, you know? Without Ludmilla. My only hope is you now. <laughs> it's me? <clears throat> she used to live at our house when your father gave her shelter. And now you've come back. The house is yours, right? So you must kick her out. Yeah, and she'll come back here forever. I won't have to let her go, nope. Yep, it's a great plan. I'm not going to kick anyone out. 
Oh, why not? Are you after her or something, huh? Roman. Roman, let's go. That's for sure. She'll be mine anyway, bub. You mark my words. Go now, go. He doesn't understand anything. What are you doing here anyway? Oh, so nice to see you, honey. Let's go home. We need to talk. I have nothing to talk to you about. Are you sure? Nikolai, I think you'd better go now. Really? I didn't ask you what's good for me and what's not, did I? If you won't go, I will make you look like a sheep. You're gonna go home. You'll see. You'll see what I'm gonna do. You see this? You heard me, girl. Stop! Don't you beat her up again! What's that? You want me to beat you too here, huh? Well, try it. Really? Oh, all right. Uh, I've been... ah! Women should be treated better. Hey, come on. Yeah, go mind your own business, man. It is my business. I live here. What? You're not Theodore's son, are yes. you? I'm Nikolai. Uh, listen, just hear me out. The thing is that you need to kick this Ludmilla out of here. She drove your father to his grave, and now she's trying to destroy my family. Do you understand? Thank you. That's for me to handle, by myself. Well, if you say so, but don't complain later that I didn't warn you, okay? Galia, listen, let's go home, please, okay? If you don't come with me, then I'm gonna spend my money on booze. I don't care if you drink yourself to death. Oh, really? Well, you're gonna regret saying that. You're gonna regret it. You will. While he's drinking at some bar, I'll have enough time to replace the locks back at the house. So I guess you're Vladimir. I'm Ludmilla. I'm the one who wrote to you. Hello, Ludmilla. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know when you were arriving. I would have come home from work earlier to meet you. I didn't want to bother you. May I come in? Ah, of course. It's your house, right? It's so cozy here. <clears throat> Thanks for that. <laughs> it still works. Strange as it may seem. Nothing has changed. No, nothing has changed after all this time. Here he marked students' papers and checked my grade books. Vladimir, Fyodor asked me to give you this briefcase. There are his letters in it, and he wanted you to read them. Well, make yourself at home, and I won't disturb you, but I need to go get the kids now. Um. Mom, could we play with my dollhouse? I don't know, my dear. We have a guest now. Uncle Vladimir's there. Mm. He'll stay with us in our home? Well, we haven't discussed that yet. Mom, will he kick us out of the house? Dennis, don't assume the worst. What if he's a good man?
I'm not very good at cooking, but I fried some potatoes. I'm Uncle Vladimir, and what's your name? Larissa. Nice to meet you. Go wash your hands. Uncle Vladimir. Dennis. Thank you. Are they asleep? Yes. You have wonderful children. Dennis will be a good man, and Larissa's a miracle. Vladimir, let's have a talk without wasting any more time. But what do you mean? Are you going to dispute the will? I didn't know that father made his will. <laughs> yes, Theodore bequeathed the house to us. But I clearly understand that this is your home and from my side... I am not going to dispute the will. It's your house. Oh, Vladimir. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. You are... Dear me. You're going to tear my hand off. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I forgot myself. Whew. It's just that I was so afraid of this conversation. It's a load off my back. Have some tea. Thanks. Hello there. Hello, Sergey. It's good that I saw you. Here, take it. As I promised you. The money for the car. Sorry for the delay. Sergey, who are you working for? But what do you mean? Well, tell me, why do you earn money? Victor worked for me for our kids, and you? You can buy everything you need. So who's it for? Was it Sveta who told you that? Or maybe it was your own idea. Sergei, you're silly. It's good that Sveta turned out to be wiser. A child is a gift of fate, the only thing that is worth living for. You're going to understand that in due time. I just hope it won't be too late. It's unfair, and they do what they want. Where will I get money for my kids? Who? It's impossible to survive. Workers never have any I'm rights. I'm fed up with it. What's this about? They kicked us all out. And they say we should have unpaid I'll tell leave. you all once again. Mm -hmm. The equipment is completely out of order. The director has already ordered more. As soon as it is delivered and installed, we can start working again. We will go without food or money until uh -huh. then. No, don't say that. I'm just telling you what they said. Ira, as a new forewoman, could you explain to them that they don't have any right to send us home without any payment? I don't think so. I'm not an enemy. She's no match for the forewoman. Ludmilla, please tell us what we should do. Listen, I think we have to draw up a claim and a complaint and sign it and send it to the administration of the company, all right, girls? That's right, Ludmilla. Draw it up. Okay, I'll draw up a claim on behalf of all of us. And we will all sign it, right? Yes, yes. sure. Yes. Sign it, absolutely. Sign it. You're really good at that. 
Why are you back so early? Did something happen? They are making us all take unpaid leave. The label producing equipment is closed. They're repairing it. I'm not sure about that. They're scrimping on people to buy new equipment, as they usually do. But we decided to fight for our rights. And how are you doing that? We decided to draw up a claim and list demands to the Union. Lilmila, you're a fighter. <laughs> well, what can I do for you? Well, we are going to need help with correctly laying down our demands. I can try to help. I'll wash up and we can get going. Where are we going? To solve problems with your administration. They won't come to us? So, dear, get ready. We'll visit them. We'll visit them ourselves. No way, my dear. Nobody has invited us there. Well, as you wish. I'll go alone, then. Alone? No, I won't let you go alone. First of all, we need to buy presents for the kids. You can't do that. <laughs> Should I just go in and warm up the car? Go and start it. Wait, and I'll come with you. Well, okay, this part, we need to look at it and... Excuse me, Vladimir, but can I take your arm? Of course. I'll bring the drawing. Is it because of Roman? Yes. He drilled into his head that he needed nobody but me. And if I'm all alone with two children, I'm ready to rush to embrace the first man I see. <sighs> well, you've rushed into my arms. You're grasping me so tight, it might go numb. Yeah. I'm sorry for this show, Vladimir. Well, you'll leave soon, and at least I can just tell them that I fell in love at first sight, and now I'm just waiting only for you. You think he'll believe you? Well, I don't know, but it's worth trying. Then we have to play for high stakes. It'll be more effective. Honestly, I don't think I could do Yeah. Oh well. I think he now understands everything. Oh, for sure. So where are we going? Oh, you'll see. Tell me in more detail about the confrontation. Good afternoon. Hello. We need internet access. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Vladimir, why have we come here? We need specific articles from the labor code. And the internet is the fastest way to find them. We'll lay down the demands so that the administration won't dare object to them no matter what. Meeting your director. Why have you brought this thing for him? What's he going to do with it? He wants it and you don't know what your grandchildren want. Oh, you're telling me. Goodness. Ludmilla's at work. Let's go pick up the children and then go together to see her after. Okay. Call her then. No, you do it. Well, okay. You drive the car, and I'll use the phone. Oh, this is so great. Vladimir, wow, you are so good at all this. Thank you very much.
Yes, Tamara, how are you? Something happened? You're coming to see us? Ah, well, great then. Sure, we'll be there. Yes, we'll go there right now. Here, take it. What happened? You don't look good. Well, my mother-in-law is coming over to visit us now. Allow me to help. Let's go. Yes. Mom, look what Granddad bought for oh, me. Oh, yes, I see And this it. is for me, a new dollhouse. Have you thanked Grandmother and Grandfather? Yes. yes. Well, then go to the house and change. Don't forget to wash your hands so we can eat. Uh-huh. Will you accept unexpected guests? You're not guests, but relatives. What a thing to say. We're relatives. You would never invite us if we hadn't called. Tamara. What? Wow, it's beautiful. Well, unpack it. <gasps> and I have a new PSP. Great. May I play it? Sure thing. Dennis, come and help, help me. But be careful. Look, Good afternoon. Hello there. Vladimir. Hi, I'm Valeri. Look at my and this is my wife, Tamara. Yeah. Nice to okay. meet you. Shall I help you? Allow me. Yeah. Let's go to the kitchen. Thanks. Mm hmm It's a beautiful house. It's so clean and cozy. A real hostess. Ludmilla, listen, I... I want you to know something. I was very unfair to you. Forgive me. Come on now, you shouldn't do that. Yes, I should. Good afternoon, Vasily. What do you want, Ludmilla? I didn't call you. Here are the claims of our workers, so please have a look. Ludmilla, is it a pleasure for you to burden me? I don't know what you mean. In accordance with the labor code in the current situation, you don't have a right to send any I see, of I see, so stop talking. Be silent now. I'll read what you've composed. Give me a minute. Listen, compositions are written in school, Vasily. We are fighting for our right to work. <laughs> well, look at you. Well, I must say that it's well composed. The copy of this claim was sent to the trade union and to the head factory. <sighs> Ludmilla, why choose to wash dirty linen in public? <sighs> you could have come to me at mm -hmm. once and we could have solved it. So let's think it over and let's find a solution for everybody. We've already decided. Okay, here's the deal. You withdraw your claim right now. And I promise to find a possibility to pay for the leave. While the new equipment is being installed. Sound good? 
Now wait, if you don't keep your promise to us... Don't even think of threatening me. I understand everything. Good afternoon. Is this Ludmilla's house, sir? Yes. Oh, I hardly found it. Can I talk to her? Well, she's at work now, but she'll be back here later. Good. We found another client who wants to buy that plot of land that she previously wanted to buy, and I need to give her her advance back. And what plot is this? Well, she and her husband dreamt of building a house there, so it doesn't make sense to discuss it. <sighs> Could you tell me in more detail about this plot? Yes, of course, sir. Well, then come in. Well, thank you. Straight up the stairs. Thank you. We did it! Congratulations. How did you manage? According to our plan, and the director didn't say a word. You're so good, and without your help, I... I say we celebrate the victory and go to a restaurant. Oh, Vladimir, I... I won't take no from you. I haven't been to a restaurant in years. All the more reason. I think that we as companions in arms have every right to... Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Drop formalities. <clears throat> well then, so here's to brotherhood. Last time I drank wine was in a previous life. I don't think we need to divide our lives to the past and present. This whole life belongs to you. I think it's how we make it and what we choose. Vladimir, I'd like to make a toast as well. You know that, well, you know, that I was afraid of your arrival. I didn't expect anything good from it. And you just said the right thing about this life of ours. When you don't expect anything from life, it suddenly presents gifts to you. I want to drink to you, to the fact that you are as you are. I'd like to say something. My father had fantastic instincts for people. When I was dropped from the will, I was upset. I thought he didn't trust me. And I realized later that he had done it, not because he had no trust in me, but because when I read your letter, I immediately realized why he chose you for it. He did it for the sake of your ease. He was wise. He was very wise. So I say we drink to him. I'll pray for Theodore for the rest of my life, because he saved me. Well, we met each other, both owing him. So. I say no more toasts. I've said more than I usually do in a month. <laughs> and I just wanted to ask something. Ask what? Tell me about yourself. I had a wife. She died three years ago. My son is Alyosha. He's 10 years old. He lives and studies at boarding school. We don't see each other for months. I work on a rotational basis on a site. It's hard for your boy. He doesn't have a mother and his father works a lot. Well, actually, we didn't really have a choice. Well, what about Theodore? He would have loved to see his grandchild. I know they would have waited for you after you finished work. 
I feel guilty about that. I know it's my fault. And I read his letters. And I understood that I had to change something. I mustn't live with inertia. But it's hard to change. Would you like to dance? Oh my god. I think the last time I danced was at my wedding. We'll take a risk. Hey, these bags are too heavy. Mind your own business. I've come to see you. See if you're okay. Well, you can see that I'm okay. Oh. Well, I went by Razia's and saw that they had prams on sale. So I bought you one. Oh, this is a good pram. Yes, a very beautiful pram. Sveta, please forgive me, dear. Oh. I am an idiot. You were right when you didn't listen. I almost lost you because of my stupidity. I can't live without you. I love you, Sveta. I love you too, Sergei. <laughs> Sergei, let's go home. Home, home, let's go. Don't worry, I'll carry it. Okay. I didn't think it would be this hard to leave. Of course it is difficult to leave your home. It's not only my home. Vladimir, I'm also feeling sad that you have to leave. Are you meeting someone? I kind of wish that Roman had come. Then I could embrace you. <laughs> well, just pretend that he's here and is staring wide-eyed at us. Ludmilla, I have a question. If I return with my son, tell me. Would that make you happy? I understand. But at least I'd have some hope for you. Vladimir, but you barely know me. I know all I need to. You're so strong and brave and honest and kind <laughs> and beautiful, very beautiful. Goodness. No one has praised me like this. I feel very peaceful with you. I don't know if I've ever felt like this. Hello. Hello. Shall we?
Charles, it's not work but a feast. I could work two shifts on this equipment easily. His thanks to Ludmilla. If it were not oh, for her, yeah. we wouldn't be working here at all. Girls, it was uh, all of us who made it happen. Yes, let's all meet tomorrow and celebrate the beginning of Come our new work on. week. How do you feel? Is it hard for you to work? No way, it's a pleasure for me. Sergey says stay at home. I don't want you to go to work. I Listen, understand he worries. I'm so I happy for you. I did everything you told me, yes. I'm so tired. You look happy, but I can tell you've been crying. What of Vladimir? Any word yet? Mm -mm. <laughs> oh dear, why am I so unlucky? I met a man with whom I finally felt comfortable and... <sighs> Now I lost him. He disappeared and doesn't call me and doesn't write. Oh, he doesn't need you. Don't wait. I'm sure he won't come back. Did you tell him something? What's that? I told him the truth. I told him how Ludmilla flirted with Vasily and how Roman went to her just after Victor's funeral. <laughs> what a damned wretch. Now don't listen to her. Look. Do you think that Vladimir would believe her? But he doesn't call me. I really thought that he'd call. you walking along so slowly? You have guests at home. I guess Vladimir's come back to you. Riza saw him. Ah! <gasps> oh. <laughs> well, now, a happy ending, and you were dragging like an old woman. <laughs> Good afternoon. Uh, hello. Riza, tell me. Why are you so excited? What's happened? Stepanovna told me that you had seen Vladimir. Yes, I saw him. And his car almost ran me over. Do you know where he was going? He's not at home. I guess he went to the suburbs where there are new plots of land. Ah, oh, thanks so much. You know, I'm not much interested in what you're telling me. Well, Did listen. you get the money then? Materials? Yes. You had them. Workers? You had yes, them. Yes, that's right. Was the contract signed? Well, it you was. know, I... Well, what's the matter then? Conditions are not fulfilled. Time limits are exceeded, right? So I, I tell you that... What? Hello. No. Who are you? I'm Ludmilla. Are you Alyosha? Hey, Hello right. there. Give me that piece of one by. the truck. Let's go. Yeah, very Vladimir, what are you doing here? I happen to know a wonderful woman. She wanted to build a big and beautiful house, and I've decided to help her. Any other questions? But how did you find the time? I signed the contract before I left. I thought that they would finish everything to surprise you. I'm surprised. Why didn't you call me? We were driven to a remote spot and there were no phones for us. I have been waiting for you. Well, now we don't have to wait anymore. Alyosha! <laughs> <laughs> 